small and big uh, projects that I'm trying to track and get action on. Um, for me, some of the big ones would be Point Perrin. So uh, not long after being elected, we announced that uh, Cape Perrin would get Class A reserve status, which is the highest um, conservation protection and kind of recognises that it's a culturally significant area in line with um, Kings Park or Rottnest Island. So it's the same environment protection um, and I guess um, signifies that it's a tourist destination. So uh, the next step of that is putting together a master plan about maximising its potential and, um, you know, we kind of refer to it as Kings Park by the Sea. So yeah. that's what, you know, I'm really keen to, uh, you know, see what we can transform that area to be. And, um, so get, getting people from Perth and yeah. from over east wanting to come down and visit it for the day or weekend. weekend. Yeah, weekend would be great. Looking at, um, you know, glamping or camping sites along there. Um, there used to be a camping available there many years ago. And Want to listen to the full episode? Type in Welcome to Perth Catch-Ups, however you listen to your podcasts.